Hi everyone, this is Bob Wormsley, Top Tip Tuesday time from Insidium. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at Terraform effects. And I'm going to show you a really cool trick, which will enable you to add loads of brilliant, noisy detail to landscapes without affecting the overall shape of that landscape. So this is really important if you're copying a reference plate, for example, and you'll need your, your landscape to be precise in its shape. Well, you can do that and then add this fine detail later and it's all using the high pass filter so let's jump into cinema 4d and we'll get started in our scene then we have a tf terrain object and we've sculpted this background hilly uh, landscape using a tf grid and a tf warp now let's say that this is a very precisely sculpted background we've copied a background plate photo for example and we need to keep this shape exact for our scene so how do we do that and then add some really nice kind of rocky detail to make it look like a more of a desert scene well let's add the detail first and then that will show us the problem if we go to tf terrain add operator and bring in a TF noise. Um, we've immediately added some detail. Let's just adjust it. We'll change it to a stuple. Let's give it some more octaves for detail. And that's looking pretty nice. If we go to our TF noise, we could go to the operator, just reduce the blend down a bit. So we've got something that looks a little bit like that. But even with this, if we then go to our noise and switch it off, you can see that we have changed um, the shape of our background. Not much, but it's enough to change it. And with more of the blend, obviously we've changed it a great deal. So how do we add this noise without changing this background shape? Well, we're going to use a group and we're going to use a filter. So let's go to TF Terrain. We're going to add operator and we're going to bring in a TF group. Now let's put our noise in the group. We'll reactivate it. And now it's working exactly the same. It's working, but it's the group that can be activated and deactivated now. If I switch off this group, it switches off everything underneath it. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So now what we're gonna do, we just want the detail of this without all of this uh, elevation gain that we're getting. So we need to use a high pass filter to do that, which is going to get all those high frequency details, uh, but not the rest. So let's go to TF group. We'll go to the add operator. We'll bring in a high pass filter. And look, you can see, look, even without doing anything, you can see what has happened. We have got all of that swirly detail of our noise, but our elevation, if we switch the group off, it hasn't altered it whatsoever. Okay, so that's cool. Let's switch off the grid and the warp just for a moment. So what we have is our high pass filter. If we switch it off, you can see that the shape of the swirls is the same with the high pass on. What it's doing is just using the high frequency detail. Now we can limit those uh, detail by using the radius. If we have less of a radius, it's only the super, super high frequency detail, so it's really fine there, look. Or if we increase the radius, it allows more and more of that detail in. If we put it on 100%, um, it's just going to act as if the filter wasn't there. But this is going to take a long time to evaluate. It's having to make a lot of calculations here. So let's put it up at, say, 26.5. So now that we've got it at 26.5, this is going to be enough to negatively impact on our underlying um, landscape. And we've kind of changed the shape just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. We're getting some spiky bits and some raised elevation. So what we're able to do is then attenuate it so those frequencies aren't able um, to add as much amplitude. So now you can see, look, now that we've adjusted it, we have got this really cool, rocky looking surface. If we switch off the group, we haven't changed that underlying shape of our landscape. That's gonna work perfectly for us. Excellent. So now that we've got that, we can add another one for some more detail. Let's say this is looking like a desert scene. Let's add some kind of desert cracks. So what we'll do is we'll just add another group. So we'll go to TF Terrain, We'll add another group. In this group, we're going to add a TF noise. The TF noise, let's um, change it from turbulence to Voronoi. 
and we are going to let's reduce the scale way down to maybe 20 going something like this let's reduce uh, the gain so in the operator tab we'll put the gain down to maybe 10 something like that and then if we go to the properties let's invert this okay so this is looking not quite right yet but look as soon as we add a high pass filter to this new group we have yes look we have created these brilliant cracks in our landscape and if we want those to be deep look let's just go to the noise operator put that up to say 20 now we've got deeper cracks and now we can isolate the effects of these cracks if we go to the tf group we can mask the whole group so let's only apply it to let's say uh, the altitude it can only be applied to below 20 centimeters yep so now we've just got the cracks in the lower parts of our terrain and that's looking really cool really detailed and the beauty of using the high pass filter is that if we switch off both of those groups we haven't altered the shape of our underlying terrain we have kept it precise but we have sculpted this really cool detail.